I'm really curious if that will matter that much. And I don't know, guys. I don't know what to expect from this. I'm really curious about the results. Sup, guys? It's Tenkosh. And today we're playing sci-fi. And we will compare if delaying the Zed chase construction is still worth in the late game. And I will do some progression updates as well because... I think you're curious about that, so let's go. All right, so I hit level 157 recently. I'm pretty far away right now uh, for my own progression. E1, 110 right now, so it's it's pretty far. And I was wondering if the lane Zag still worth it that much as it was early game. So we got this run uh, that lasted for an hour. We got uh, all those MKA generators. They work their things. So we get really, really good income. We got all the upgrades here. And you can see there is a graphical overhaul. If you haven't updated the game yet, please do. And this build is focused on the cells mostly because it should be a short loop for uh, quick MP game. So yeah, most things are upgraded. We got some uh, progression for the Koyas. We got some progression for the Demeter and for Zeus. So those bonuses will be more effective right now. And uh, let's buy Zagros and c uh, compare the amount of MP we will get from Zagros with the way if we buy it straight away at the beginning without waiting and upgrade as we go. It will allow us to fill the loops faster. Even with all the loop modes that we have already, it's filling up by four loops at a time. It's still taking a while. And uh, in order to compare it properly, I want to chase anything using those MP that we will get from this run. So we'll do the reset straight away and uh, buy everything straight away and compare the um, gains of MP. As for the quick build I'm doing while the loops are filling up, I'll cover that. For the quick runs, I'm going fully into the cells because investing into the shards and uh, research points doesn't worth it too much because uh, yeah, it takes forever to get them right now. You need about one to two days build up stage to make it work so yeah uh, for the short runs i do it like that i focus on the top two additional areas and and yeah and basically enjoy that so yeah here in the uh heat test that's, that's the most important thing and difference if you are doing really fast run run without delay like we had here for an hour and you want to reset straight away you would like to invest in this top left thing because it gives you instant bonus straight away while the one on the right is giving you higher bonus, but it needs some build up because you need some ticks accumulated for it to kick in. And yeah, for the most things, either I don't have enough upgrades to go for additional spots over here, or I just go for those top ones again to get the cells and generator bonuses. For the Zeus, I'm manually upgrading the Zeus crew and uh, going into the janitor bots straight away because once again, this is supposed to be a quick run. If it's longer than an hour, then of course I would uh, get those things. But right now I'm more focused on the cells. So just to see how it is, we'll do both builds kind of the same to see the difference. And yeah, on the last reset, I've got a quite a lot of progress. We managed to get to 16E113. This time, I'm not sure how far we will be able to push. 111, I think we'll get to that point, no problem. Maybe even more, because we got some pretty cool loop mods purchased here. We got a lot of those areas. We got those upgraded algorithm ones. They give us a lot of bonuses here. We got some of those things, G Corp enchantment and that kind of stuff. So, pretty nice things. So, yeah, guys, we're getting closer quite a lot. And we are at E113 already. So I want to get to some milestones. So we'll get kind of the same amount of loops filled. Obviously, this run will get more loops filled because it will, it lasts longer. It's an hour more. So yeah, I'm curious to see like, yeah, I think that will be enough. 1, 4K. 537, let's make a screenshot. 547 and it was 164E113. I even made a photo on the cell phone so I won't have to alt tab to see the screenshot. So, now we're ready. Uh, I mean, in real life, I would wait a bit more to fill up a bit more maybe, but right now I don't care. I just want to see the difference. I think it will be there. Let me know in the comments before we do this if you think the difference will be significant or not. I think it won't be that crazy, maybe 10% maximum. So let's go, perform a loop. All right, we don't spend modification points. Now we put chase everything straight away all the ships so we'll start filling the loop instantly zeus come on i'm really curious if that will matter that much since 
We really didn't need a long run. I am really interested in the results. It's important to get enough points in the right things here at the early times, basically, and get this generator early, because if your MK8 is being delayed, if you don't get out of purchase like I am here and you gotta do it manually, that will throw you back quite a lot, so I'm curious. All right. Now let's repeat the build here, so uh, maximum over here, and the rest will go here. Oh my god, I can't multi-click here, that sucks. Evenly distributing those things here, like 8 and 8 over here, so we would like to get as much sell income as early as possible. Okay, we skip this one here once again, since this will be a really short run, we will invest everything into faster transportation. So we'll get those bonuses and here we just we just wait and get the crew it won't be leveled up that much because it requires us to do the missions and missions take time so it won't work so let's see uh, it's already being filled up and i don't know guys i don't know what to expect from this i'm really curious about the results and yes i know that we did another loop reset and it counts as one of the multipliers in many areas but I don't think one loop reset will matter that much. And in any case, if it matters, then you gotta do the those, those perform loops as often as possible to increase it. That That's actually true. You might wanna do those really fast to increase this number because this multiplier is being used in many things and that will help you to gain more results. But I'm too lazy to do that, so, you know, taking it slow. <laughs> Okay, the basic loops are filled already and the difference is actually pretty significant. So the last time we had loops filled 538, so it's 8 loops difference. And here we get a 2.2e112 before that we got, well, basically 10 times more. We got 1.6e113, 5 times more, more likely. But anyway, that's worth it, I think. Moreover, um... We still need to wait for an hour to make it even because right now we just started and we can do reset straight away, right? Before that, we waited for an hour to fill up the uh, resource before doing the Zeg uh, construction. Now, I don't know. So if we want to reset right now, it will get like five times less um, mod points. And that's significant. I mean, even if we will wait for an hour, it should be bigger, the number should be higher, but not that much. It wouldn't go all the way to E113, I think. So, we compared two options. Let's do the third one. We'll do the reset and now we will purchase Zegros, the last one, and see how much do we get again. So, let's fill those up. I think it's okay. 530 is a good result, right? Because right now, even as we fill in the loops, it's definitely not going close to that number. So, we can do one more comparison. If you don't want to wait for an hour and you want to do like instant resets, which is the best option? Let's compare. So, another photo for the memory. Bam. Let's go. Picture. Bam. Easy. I'm not doing screenshots. I'm too lazy for that. All right. And do. Let's do perform the loop. Bam. One, two, three, let's go. So now we don't get anything again, but we get Auxesia, we skip Zagros, we get everyone else as always. Koyas, Zeus, come on Zeus, let's go. And uh, we will go like this. So we will first purchase all the ships, there we go, Zeus is here. And then, and only then, we will get Zagros. So first we do all the upgrades here, we get the generators and this is an interesting idea. If you want to do the quick runs, it's really important to do it right to maximize your gains, right? Another advantage of doing it like that is that you don't really need to hurry uh, as when you get Zegra straight away and you can go AFK any moment, wait for like, I don't know, 30 minutes, come back, buy more stuff and you will be okay. If you will get Zegra without Mm, all automations, for example, you will have issues because you won't be able to get those extra nodes in the upgrade menu of the ship if they are not automated for you. I decided to do the manual so I can decide where to go with this run. Moreover, you won't be able to get generators if those aren't automated for you. So overall, at that AFK time you will skip, you will get way less stuff for that time. So that will cost you quite a lot okay i think that the main purchase is settled in we got some bonuses already uh income is still growing yes but it's not that 
significant and we want to compare instant purchases instead of waiting for hour so uh, let's get Zagreus right now and uh, see how much the difference will be if we just rush it but do it in a better way basically same stuff now we wait and it will take quite a while again to fill up um i think this result will be <coughs> like in between those two we had before so obviously waiting for one hour will give you more mp that's obvious thing uh going for zagreus straight away will be the lowest result and this one should be something in between i'm just curious how far it will be from each of those max and min points we will see soon all right guys first results are kicking in and our last run already overcame the uh instant zagreus purchase we waited for like maybe three five minutes before getting it and it's already overcoming it and it's only at 500 loops we got this result at um what was it 532 loops and we are even getting more uh mp gain next loop fill as well already which is really interesting so i think this will be the most efficient way for you to fill in your loop resets when you do the really quick loop resets instant ones if you want to do a longer one I think this one will be kind of on par, the second one, with the first build where we waited for an hour before buying the Zagreus. Honestly, I think that that hour actually gave us the results we needed. Over here, we get 469, 112 at the same amount of loop fields, like in the second example. So we get two times more MP, but it's still lower than uh, what we got after an hour of waiting with 538 loops field. So five loops here should give us five times six, three, uh, E111. So it shouldn't matter that much, to be honest, right? But it, it, it matters a lot. So I think the best idea, the best way to do this is just get everything you can and wait for an hour, maybe a couple of hours before buying the, the Zagreus. That will give you the best results because you can upgrade everything, you can focus on upgrades, you can... Well, I mean, mostly it's about the crew for your ships. Yeah, for example, for the Demeter, we already get all those upgrades that will give us MP gains, so we don't really need anything else and uh, we just need the crew in order to give this additional multiplier to the mp same for other ships like here getting a bit more cells is important but not that important it's not that crazy but those extra cells when they're available they will get more crew and that will affect the important nodes that will give you the mp gain so yeah i think the results are pretty clear um the difference here will be about i think three times to the uh even if we wait for an hour to the option where we get zagros after an hour of waiting so you get the same amount of time to do this but getting zagros later is more efficient so that's the best zag leg strategy you get out here so yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think about uh delaying Zagreus and how do you want to delay him as well like what's your opinion on that uh while you're going there don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and check out the video description for additional sci-fi videos there's a playlist over there and there's also a wiki with the sci-fi with a lot of info if you want to contribute please do because it's hard to do it with one person so together we can make it even better and yeah other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand kosh out have a good one bye